to express my profound thanks to the church for helping us when we were under pressure. This house was worth nothing. Now its value has increased a thousand times. When I come to think of it, I can appreciate the quality of the renovation. Thanks so much. I hope you can continue to help the needy and the last. Thanks. Thanks is the most frequent word on the lips and faces of the Palestinian Christians who received the service carried out through the latest project created by the ATS Pro Terra Sancta Custody. In collaboration with the Pontifical Mission and the support of the Dutch Knights of the Holy Sepulchre. So far, as of September 1st, 19 needy families in the West Bank have been able to begin restoration work on their homes. Our job is to help the church and its institutions to become available to serve their parishioners, that is, the Christians in the area of Bethlehem. We tried to reach as many families as possible in the cities of Bethlehem, Beit Jala, and Beit Sahur. We helped needy families who lived in homes that needed renovations that they could not afford. The younger families are usually the most disadvantaged ones. Every family has its own unique story. For each of them, the renovation of their homes represents a fresh new start. My house was in poor condition, especially because of the much humidity. I have a sick daughter and it used to be so difficult for me to bathe her. I asked them to expand the bathroom and they did. I have a larger bathroom now and there is no more humidity. They made my house more beautiful. Now everything's all right, thanks to God. The Imad family is an example of the conditions under which some of these families live. In this case, six people live under the same roof. In wintertime, the water infiltrated the ceiling and it rained on our heads as we ate at the table. We are truly grateful to God and to the church. The difference between how this house looked before and how it looks now is amazing. A 360 degree change. The applications were reviewed by September 1st, after which the trips to the homes began. Their conditions were analyzed in order to select the most urgent ones to be repaired. In mid-September, once the projects were developed, workers began to resolve the various emergencies, such as in the Awad's home in Bethlehem, where water infiltration caused continuous blackouts that also compromised security, or as in the repairs made to the house that belonged to George and his newly formed family. My wedding was scheduled for January of next year, but I had to move it up and it took place last month. The house was not livable, so I had to work day and night, giving it my best. This room was completely empty. There was no floor. There was nothing. We asked the Latin convent to give us a hand. Thanks be to God, they helped us and I am immensely grateful. The project does not have the presumption of resolving the lives of the families involved, but it is intended to reach a small but great goal. It's a complementary work of what the custody makes. Uh, we are here to tell people that we are here for you, we help you uh, to stay here, live in more healthy environments, and uh, this is our main uh, message, that we are here to help you stay in this uh, city.